Hi, I'm Soundar from Lord Star Sensors. Uh, we have a, we are, I'm, now I'm going to show you how to calibrate RD1000 load cell interface with our RSB3 load cell. The load cell is mounted on an install. So this is a 200 kilogram load cell. And I'm going to apply two loads, zero and 200 kilogram and calibrate between the two points. This is a RD1000, so it's wired through the back, four wire load cell. So the first thing you have to do is go into the setup mode to calibrate. So to do that, you power it down first, power it back up, and while it's counting down or counting up, like this, press the zero key. Now, in addition to, you will see here the unit, there is a unit key, function, FUN, and mod key, pair, and zero, and a power. During calibration procedure, the tear key acts like the up-down key in your computer, and the zero key acts like the left-right key in your computer, and the function key acts like the enter key. So once, so as soon as you power it, power it up and go into this mode, this is the menu mode, you'll see F1 for clock. Most of these commands you can ignore. We are going to concentrate on two commands. So we'll press, first we need to set the units. This unit can only be calibrated in kilograms. So you have to apply, even if you have a pound load, you have to specify the capacity and load in kilograms and then calibrate in kilograms, and then you can convert it while during operation in pounds. Okay, so first make sure the unit, the units of the system itself is set into kilograms during calibration. Okay, I'm gonna set the units to kilograms now. So press the tar key to go to, keep pressing the tar key to go to cal. That should be F7. When you are here, press these keys in quick succession. Function, unit, zero, pair. And you will see, this is asking for a password. If you don't ask for a password, it will simply skip the screen. If it asks you for a password, it's zero, 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 zero. So use the left, right, or zero keys to go to these other uh, places and then press the tar key to enter the password and then press the function enter key again. So you come to another set of menus, P1 through PXX. So keep going up till you see UT for units. Here, P13. Press the function key and the unit is set in kilograms. If it is set in pounds, you will see something like this. Unit pounds. So change it back to kilograms using the tire key and then press function to enter it, accept it. And pound should be on, that indicates it's also going to convert in pounds if you press the unit key. Press the function key to accept and you can ignore the U1s, the other units, ignore that. Back to P13. Now we go to other setup parameters. So we go to P5. That's the number of decimals you want in the display. So press the function key. Default is it's set to two decimals to display. You can use the tar key to adjust it. Now we are gonna we are happy with two. We'll say accept it, say function. Go back to go up to capacity. Here you are gonna set the capacity of the load cell. This is a 200 kilogram load cell. Press the function key. You see 200. If you want, you can change it using the tire key like this and the zero key like this. I'll set it back to 200. Accept it, function key. Now go up to cal. This is a real cal. I'm going to calibrate function. So it says unload. So make sure there is no load on the load cell. And you should see that this is stable. This should be steady, not blinking. So it's steady, no load, press the function key, accept it. Now it says, what's the weight? If you don't have a 200 kilogram, let's say you only have a 100 kilogram load uh, weight, you can change this to 100 and then press function. So 
I'm going to apply 200 kilogram the full load plus function now it says load now I'm going to apply 200 kg to the load cell the full load you can see that the this is gone the light is gone because the load is changing when 200 is steady you will see the light is blinking the STAB not uh, steady you should press the function key at that point we have a reference load cell uh, which is in this instant which is mistraceable so we are using that and 200 kilogram so load is now you will see it's becoming stable it's blinking so okay stable press function and come back you will see the error ignore it don't panic so you're going to see 200 kilogram here and it's calibrated done so so now let me stop it the calibration was complete now i'm going to do a sanity check simply cycle through a few loads to see if it's if it matches so you can see i'm going to apply 30 31 kilograms 30.8 30.6 122, 149, and I'll go to 200, approximate. And you'll see that if I go above 200, it'll beep. Okay, come back. Okay, that's how you calibrate a load cell with RD1000. And you can use any load cell, and if you have dead weights, you can use dead weights. Apply it as long as you can apply a steady load and you can calibrate in tension or compression but you can't calibrate in both okay. uh, thank you from Lord Sensors this is Sounder